brand new state program will provide a helping hand to parents of infants who may be feeling extremely overwhelmed by their responsibilities. New South Connecticut's Mark Sudol in Bridgeport today with some of those emotional testimonies. It was so hard. I was so depressed. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have any support. Damaris Redemar from Bridgeport says she was 17 when she had her first child. I felt like it was just me against the world. Like I had my daughter Xander, he was involved. But I felt like I didn't have anyone. And I felt like I was going to fail my child. And now local agencies are working with the state to make sure these mothers of newborns never feel so alone again. Community-based strategy to reduce both health and educational disparities. The state is using some of its COVID funding to support universal home visiting programs to help with not only care, but emotional support. The positive impact that early investments have on child and family outcomes, impacts that have a long lasting effect. A lot of time in this process, the father is overlooked. Lavorne Ware from Bridgeport has a young son, and he says it's also important for fathers to not only be supportive, but to raise their children right. You're supposed to come in this world and then leave it better when you left. So if I want to teach my son how to be a leader of men, I need him to teach him empathy and how to be able to identify things in his partner, especially if he makes a big decision like having a baby. Dads and moms sharing their experiences to help generations to come. They don't know a way out. They don't know who to call, who to turn to. This program will change that. In Bridgeport, Mark Sudol, News 12, Connecticut. And today, today, the Department of Children and Families says universal home visiting programs will also help address child poverty 